Hi guys, so uh, my name is Tyler. I am the owner and operator of uh, Organic Studio. Um, as some of you have heard of us, and if you're watching this video, you've probably heard of us. Um, we are a small new ink manufacturer uh, based in Maryland. Um, I wanted to make a video for a while now, trying to find a time to uh, you know put a face to the, the company and give you an idea of who I am, a little bit about me. Um, unfortunately, that's not what this video is going to be about. Um, so one of our retailers, uh, Goulet Pen Company, uh, had a customer send him an email with some images of one of our products, uh, Mercury the Red Ink, um, with some images of a sample vial showing that the ink had turned into this sort of gel, jelly, weird substance. Um, and Goulet had then forwarded to me, and now we have begun researching and looking into why this is happening. Um, for those of you watching this who are in our Ink Review Membership Club, uh, through some correspondence, you know, you've been made aware of the Lithium, uh, which is a color that we had released uh, in, in the pre-order, and then uh, kind of pulled back because we hadn't formulated the, the, the large batch, I guess, recipe yet. Um, we had a similar issue with the Lithium, which we have since reformulated and sent out, and uh, have heard only good things about it. Um, but it turns out we had used the same colorant uh, in mercury uh, to some degree that we used in lithium and uh, the same issues appearing and then also for one of our specific viewers um, gourmet pens we made a pink ink for you that we also had used uh, some of the same colorant and I just heard back that you're experiencing a similar issue so uh, what we're doing uh, as of right now what I've been doing all day today is I've set up some experiments to find out you know what what is happening and what the actual reaction taking place is um, it's not something that ever happened here before we sent them out so it's something that takes a little bit of time to see um, so that's something that I've learned you know we're gonna put some I guess some restrictions on how quickly we ship things out uh, try to put a waiting period of around a couple weeks after we develop a color before we actually announce it um, that way there's no pressure on us to get it out quicker and we can see if this kind of thing is gonna happen with different uh, different coloring agents that we use um, as of right now, like I said, it affects mainly the reds. Uh, it's a specific red colorant that we use that caused the issue. So mercury was affected. Uh, lithium, we reformulated, took this one out, uh, took the colorant out, and put in a, a different one. And we haven't seen any issues with that at all um, in about a week. Um, so right now we are just waiting to see what what our new new formula for mercury will do, um, and then if if and when that is ready to go, uh, we'll send it back to Goulet and he'll be back in stock with mercury. Um, so that's that's the current why I'm making the video. Uh, I want to stress, you know, like I said, this is something I do in my spare time, um, and I'm still learning a lot as I go. Uh, I've been making inks for I guess almost eight months now since January, um, but I finally started selling them um, the end of June. Sorry, I'm sitting outside and I got something in my eye. Um, wow. Yeah, so I'm started making them uh, for sale around the end of June. Um, and it, this is something that it, 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 I was really nervous about, you know, have some kind of issue like this come up because we're a young company. Um, and so any any issue 